Welcome to one of our Alpha Laval 360 degrees service and maintenance videos. With Alpha Laval service, you maximize the reliability and uptime of your equipment. The result is superior performance throughout the life cycle of your equipment, performance that puts you ahead of competition. Here we will focus on how to conduct service and maintenance on hygienic Alpha Laval frontline and Alpha Laval baseline gasketed plate heat exchangers using genuine Alpha Laval spare parts. Remember, always read the instruction manual thoroughly to make sure you cover all maintenance steps. This video only shows you some of the steps. Also, please refer to the documentation that came with your heat exchanger to ensure that you order the right parts for service and maintenance. To maintain the Alpha Laval Frontline or Alpha Laval Baseline Gasketed Plate Heat Exchanger, these tools are required. How to open the Gasketed Plate Heat Exchanger First, inspect the sliding surface of the carrying bar. Wipe it clean and apply grease. If you intend to remove the plates to change the gaskets, we recommend that you mark each plate pack. Brush the threads of the tightening bolts with a steel wire brush and grease the threads before loosening the bolts. There are four main tightening bolts on smaller units which are equipped with a bearing box. All other bolts are referred to as locking bolts. Now, start by loosening the locking bolts in the middle of the plates. Smaller units will have locking bolts at the top and bottom. These should be loosened and removed. Next, loosen the four tightening bolts equipped with bearing boxes. Loosen the bolts as numbered. One, two, three, 4. As shown here, start with the upper left bolt, then the lower right, then upper right, then the lower left. During the opening procedure, keep the frame plate and pressure plate parallel to each other. Skewing of the pressure plate during opening must not exceed 10 mm across the width, which is equivalent to two turns per bolt, and 25 mm along the height of the unit which is equivalent to five turns per bolt. Continue loosening the bolts until all reaction forces on the plate pack have disappeared. Then remove the bolts. Now open the plate pack by sliding the pressure plate all the way back on the carrying bar. If you are only replacing gaskets, we recommend that you number the plates before removing them. Remember to use gloves when handling the plates. How to close the gasketed plate heat exchanger. First press the plate pack together and insert the four tightening bolts and the locking bolts. Make sure the threads are greased. Check the marked line that has been made when the plate heat exchanger was open. Tighten the four tightening bolts in sequential order. One, two, three, four. As shown, continue to tighten them until the reaction force on the plate pack can be noticed. Make sure the frame plate and pressure plate are parallel to each other before tightening further by checking the A measurement, which is the distance between the frame plate and the pressure plate. Now continue to tighten the four tightening bolts in sequential order, following the diagonal pattern, and remember to check the A measurement regularly. While tightening the bolts, check that all gaskets are securely fitted in the gasket groove. If any gaskets are protruding, press them firmly back into the gasket groove using a pointy but blunt instrument. 
Be sure to also check that all gasket clips are positioned correctly and securely in place. While tightening of the four tightening bolts, be sure to also tighten the locking bolts. Continue tightening until the A measurement has been reached. Do not over tighten the heat exchanger. The maximum amount that the unit may be tightened is equal to the A measurement minus 0.5% of the total. Over tightening will lead to plate damage and crushing of the gaskets. If all plates are correctly mounted in the unit, the edges of the plates will form a honeycomb pattern. Also note that the gasket clips will form a zigzag pattern. Please note that the Alpha Laval Clip 3 plates have a notch on the A side of the plate. A notch on every other plate indicates a correctly assembled plate pack. The gasket clips do not form a zigzag pattern and there is no honeycomb pattern. As a final step, the unit should be protected with a thin layer of oil.